folks once more welcome back to Awubi channel so today we are going to talk about microtech router board but we are going to talk about queuing simple queuing um, queue is um, a microtech feature what it does is to shape bandwidth okay so it shapes bandwidth in a way that you have a bandwidth limit in your upload and your download so that um, you don't hijack the network so today we are going to go to how to configure a simple queue and then I'll also show you how you can bypass it okay so um, let's start so first of all let me know the IP I'm going to use I'm going to use a, an IP for the queuing so let me use my current computer okay so this is my current computer so what you do is click here and then configure your queuing so I've given it um, OB that's the name of my queue okay and then I assign the IP address on it so which is 192.168.11.254 this is my IP okay then I limit it to this this is my my best time is one second okay so this is it you know uh, there's another thing you can use this to actually target web domains web domain IPs in case you don't want folks to um, be worrying um, when work schedule is around okay you can limit folks so like here the target you just put the web domain here and then reduce the speed so unless folks um, are able to use VPN to uh, bypass this particular rule so you do the same thing here you do the same thing here um, okay so basically that's it then you apply what minimum Oh, sorry. I need to do the same with here as well. Then you apply. No, okay. So this is my target IP, which is my IP. There. Okay. So this is what you must do, and then you further make the IP static. Okay. So that no matter what I do, the moment I connect to this network, this is the IP I'm going to receive. But then. The user might don't know what you've done. So now let's test what I've just done. And then we'll see if what I did was right or wrong. So let me come to this side and go to my traffic. Okay, so there is another thing with Microtech. With the queuing rules, when it comes to the icon uh, uh, that comes with it, it comes it works like a um, traffic light so the red means danger the yellow means getting to danger the green means you're okay so this is what is going to happen to the queuing rules we've created here so let me quickly try Okay, so let's try this video. And let's monitor what is currently happening here. OK. 
okay. My internet is okay. Now let's see. Okay. So there is a video playing, right? Now let's see our queuing. Okay, there is traffic going on here. I'm going to do multiple stream and then see how our queuing rule is going to react. Oh, okay, good. It has started. So this is exactly what I wanted. Let's see. I'm I'm very hopeful it's going to turn red. Let me change my quality. Oh, why are you? Quality to three twenty. Let me set this to the same. Okay. Now let me monitor my queuing rule. Let me even decrease it to 10 kilo. Changing it to 10. Just to experiment what I'm talking about. Apply. What did it say now? Okay, so five. Five. Okay. Now, let me change this to ten. I change this to ten. Change this to ten. Change this to ten. What's wrong? Okay, let me change this to 10. Let me change this to 10. So, okay, good. So, this is it. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. But now, because we we did the, we allowed the DSP IP to be static now, it would be difficult for you to get into the network and then your IP will change okay because it has been it is uh, been made for the microtech to understand that this IP is static from henceforth so I as an engineer knowing this situation all I have to do is simple all I have to do is to change my IP and give it um, a static IP All I have to do is to change the IP and then give myself a static IP. Because I I know by all means I might be suspecting that this is what is happening. So this is what I have to do. As simple as this. Oh 
change, change. I have to change my IP. Um, to the same network by a different subnet. It's as simple as this. It's as simple as this. Alright. We are not done. The next thing is to... You know, so it's not taking effect now. The next thing is to change the... MAC address of the machine and this is what to do simple as simple as this MAC address the MAC. Uh, where is my MAC address changer all you need to do is to deploy your MAC address changer which is here okay MAC address changer Come quick, come quick. Okay, good. So all I need is my MAC address changer, and then I'll just change the interface I'm using. Okay, so all I have to do is to change my interface. So random. Okay, I change my interface. The interface I'm using to connect to the network. So in this in this case it has selected all my interfaces. Okay, so it's going to change all this interface. But in this case I just want to change I just want to change the interface for my router board. Uh, sorry, the interface for my Ethernet. Okay, so all I have to do is to click on change and then it will take effect. I'm done. So it has taken effect now. So the next thing is to return my my static IP back to DHCP, and then it's going to obtain a different IP. Even if it will obtain the same IP, it's going to change the MAC address for me. My machine is a bit slow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is what I'm supposed to do. And I'll get back my IP. Okay, great good now it has changed the IP for me and this is my new IP this is my new IP and my new MAC address it's as simple as this so meaning I've bypassed um, I've bypassed my the queue so I've bypassed the queue moment we are done with our configuration so the queue doesn't take effect on our host machine anymore thank you for watching this video please subscribe 
to my channel like and share for more videos thank you very much